All right, Ru- roll it. Blah, 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 whatever, that's good enough. <laughs> I can. Roguelike roulette is a surprising tongue twister if I'm not ready for it. And I'm not always ready for it. We're solidly in Undermine territory. All right. I haven't played Undermine in a little while. Let's do a run and probably get absolutely blasted. I believe I've missed an update. So it's about time to check it out again, I guess. And I've uninstalled the game. That's fine. I wonder if the new update specifically added... The Supply Crate update has a female peasant, a new altar, more bosses, more dialogue, a bunch of new relics, Black ra Rabbit will do stuff. All right. I guess we'll find out as we go along. Uh, let's see. Game. Play game. The female peasant does not have a mustache. I'm a little disappointed by that. I feel like her hair should have looked like a mustache at the very least, or something. I, eh, whatever, it's fine. Okay. I do not remember where I should have things on the UI, so we'll figure it out. Now, the question is... Do I just randomly spawn as a lady? Yes, I do. Okay, that's good. So, I think I actually should be in the bottom left. It's been a while since I've played this game. Let's figure it out. Okay. So what do we want to do? I have, I have money. Most of these upgrades are expensive. Anything that I can craft with this guy. Shadow's Fang, have a chance to critically strike? Heck yeah. Okay, most of the upgrades are pretty expensive. And I don't remember what difficulty I'm on. Uh, I could probably raise it by one just because. So why don't we do that? Uh, let's see. Okay. Huh. Might not be a whole lot left. I think I'm going to stick with the Golden Bird. The Fire Bird just was super disappointing the last time I played this. Uh, where's the thing that changes the difficulty? I've totally, I've totally forgotten. I know it's around here somewhere. I think it's Menu with the Wizard. Oh, like pause while in here. Ah, Summoning Stone. Summoning Stone 4? Yeah, 4 should be good enough. That's just one shy. I just remember Ponzu is rough. Pozu? Pan... Pan... Oh, but we don't get extra coinage. Do... Do we? Maybe we do. Maybe we don't. Ah, uh, let's see. Pushing a true sight? Heck yeah. Alright. Good to go. Patsu! Oh, God. Hopefully not. I... Elge... Eldritch Pansu would be just bad. Ooh, increases experience gain for minion. Cool. I assume that's just over over time. So let's let's wait until we hit a gold room and then go bananas. Okay. Right. I forgot. There's a little robber jerks. They're gonna steal my shit. I don't like that. Pantsu. I, you know, isn't that there is straight up a, a visual novel. Oh boy, I'm not I'm not in the right headspace for this game am I? I'll get there. Nope. Wait, did he kill himself? He killed himself on the lock block. Ha! <laughs> ah, shit! I just remembered you can jump. Hi! This is fine. I'll be okay. I do a boatload of damage as I've been upgrading my my dang bitch a lot. And it looks like I've got a lot of healing abilities right now. That's good. That's fine. But no, I swear I swear there's a visual novel where it's like there's a eldritch monstrosity that for whatever reason you see her as like human, but everybody else sees her as this horrible flesh beast. And, like, you're doing distinctly evil shit, if I'm not mistaken, uh, over the course of the game. 
to like please her. Unless I'm, I'm okay. Say a new Uda. There we go. Yeah, I remember reading a summary of that once because somebody sent it to me, and I was just like, "What the hell?" And that was it. Because I want nothing to do with that kind of business. Maybe, kind of, sort of. Okay. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not big on visual novels. If more visual novels were like, whoops, out that hurt. If more visual novels were like Pyre, I would play the shit out of them. Most are not. Most are nowhere even close. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do we want wealth? I want wealth. But yeah, I, I don't know. I really want more visual novels like Pyre. Nope! I was trying to get around. Didn't work. Aha! Doesn't look like we got any sparklies, so no secrets. Perfect. Do we check for secrets around here? I guess we should. Ha! Bird's actually a lot better grabbing those things than I thought it would be. Okay, pillow. Reduces physical damage. Oh, that's nice. So the question is, do I... Do I pop the secret finding potion immediately? Two secrets early on wouldn't be bad, but I only have one bomb. So no, I'll wait until I have two bombs that I can actually get into a secret room. They're not even that amazingly useful. Like, well, uh, let's see. They're okay. I'm just gonna pop, pop myself there. You guys can't see the equipment I'm rolling if my base game's right there. All right. Uh... Let's see. Whoops. Okay, let's head in the game. Money's important, survival's more so. Otherwise, I'm not going to have biscuits for battles. Probably should have baited him out into grabbing some of the gold for me, but whatever. There we go. Aha! You thought you were going to do things, but that's fine. Oh, let's see, what is the flavor text for this one? Oh, uh, let's see. It was enter, tab, tab, here we go. Just an ordinary sleeping pillow, yellowed from years of drool marks. Gross. Uh, seasoned popcorn, it's okay. Bomb bag. Buy the bomb bag and a key. I think I'm gonna leave the rest of this stuff. Let's clear the floor. Then I'll drink the, uh, then I'll drink the potion. We'll try and find secret rooms. Hi. I'm just gonna be on the opposite side. Okay. Not the most efficient, but it was the safest. I like playing safe. We peeped, and we found nothing! And what do we get? Ooh. Charm. Admittedly, no, actually, we do have a curse. No, I didn't mean on like, damn it. Well, it's fine. Uh, at the cost of a key, I, I guess it's fine. Whoop. Whoop. Okay. And we're good. We got through here. I'm not actually sure what this... Okay, this means item room on the map. Kurtz's stash. Mysterious box that invites calamity. Before his party was lost, Kurtz had the foresight to stash away some things for safekeeping. Do I get a mustache now? God damn it. What is... Okay. Well, it's got a 10 on it. 
was really hoping it would be a mustache. Whoop! No, that didn't work. Freaking rats are pushing me around. Whoop! Whoop! I will admit, I'm liking the, uh, the female protagonist, I guess. She actually sounds pretty decent. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that, am I? Like the, uh, the cries as she falls and whatnot. They don't sound too bad. Okay, let's grab the antimatter. Get out of here, you. And do we go for the secret? I'm not actually sure if I care. Want to know how the box works? Sure, I guess. I don't know. Don't pay attention to the jiggle. The interesting thing is, unless I'm mistaken, when she's walking, uh, the boobs are actually, like, totally static. And the rest of her is jiggling. It's like the anti-jiggle. See, so Undermine updated. Yep. Yeah, so there's a female protagonist now. Bunch of new items. Uh, I honestly don't actually know what else. I could have looked at the list harder, but, like, meh. Okay. Probably throw speed. Crit chance could actually be good, but me. Okay, the number indicates the amount of curses you need to get over time. But in doing so, it gives goodies. Oh. That's handy. Okay. Well, I tend to be a bit of a curse magnet, so it's not so bad. Ten curses is a lot, though. So we'll see if I get it or not. Well, blesses. And up. Yeah, you don't need to keep them until it opens either. Yeah, you just have to get them. Uh, let's see. So blessings and curses. Can I see my... I was really hoping that would actually show your crit chance at this point, because I actually have several items that increase my crit. But for whatever reason, they don't let you see your crit value. Whoops. I mean, I guess I got it open. This is like the most non-committal block breaking I've ever seen. Anyway, so what she got? So, at the cost of three bombs, when healed, heal again. Catalyst is okay. I do have... I have that... I have that amount of bombs. I can do that. Welcome back to Black Rabbit's Bazaar, where the wares are weird and the prices are weirder. Feel free to purchase items on the tables, or maybe I can entice you with a proposition of my own. Would you consider selling me one of those super-duper relics you're selling? Carrying. What happens if I say yes? Oh. Oh. Okay. Hey, that's cool. No pressure. If you change your mind and want to... I uh, want to... Wait. If, however, you change your mind, you come find old BR and we can work something out. Okay, so she will she will buy our st stuff for us. That's... Or... Our stuff from us. That's actually really useful for a couple of reasons. It's a great way of getting rid of relics that don't work, that aren't good. There aren't a whole lot of those, but there are a couple. Should probably drink some of these. Well, we'll start with that one. Let's see, puts me back in the standard place. Duplicate all gold in the room. Golden kernels? Yeah, I'll grab that. Admittedly, not going to be in an easy position to make the most of that, but, like, whatever. Okay, I'm going to drink this now. Ow. Shit. We should probably go buy some food. I am taking a fair bit of damage here. Okay, got that. We're all good. 
Hello. Unfortunately, you can't kernels particularly well in boss rooms, which is a bit of a travesty. But I totally understand why they did did the things that they did. Because back in the day, you could do goofy nonsense, and it was a little overpowered. Oh, you can see the meter behind it. Okay, so that's how that works. We get Matryoshka bombs. I don't like Bambushka, but I'll have it. Oh, secret in the lower room, by the way. Thank you. Probably lower middle. Let's see, go sell it. Oh, that's a good point. I actually can? This is why I don't like Bambushka. It's just a little too much. Hello! Okay, what is that? Increases... Wait, is that... Temporarily increases throw size? Hell yeah! That was actually... That was actually something I've been wanting for ages. That's nice to get it. Okay, so let's buy the key. Let's talk to her. Okay, so we can sell Bambushka. I kind of wish... Uh, I kind of wish the way bombs worked is you could actually stack as many of them as you wanted. I understand why it doesn't work that way, but it would be so freaking choice if you could just... Uh, eh, let's go buy the other bomb. Uh, it'd be so freaking choice if you, if you had, like... I guess the main problem is... At what point do the bombs start killing you? But, like... Bomberman, like, cross bombs, plus Bombushka, plus, like... I don't know, homing bombs? Are there even homing bombs in this game? I feel like there should be. Because Binding of Isaac had some interesting bomb modifiers, but I always felt like they stopped a little short. And it could have been a little bit more interesting. I'm gonna bomb that. No, it's not there. Keep saying I'm gonna drink the uh, secret finding potion, but then I keep forgetting to do so because I'm lazy and some other stuff. And nothing. Well, wherever it is, it's back the other way. Let's see. There's a new item that might not make you dislike it as much anymore. Uh, well, huh. all right. Okay, so what do you got for me? I need keys, please? Well... See, I don't really like Aegis, but I'll grab leftovers. Grab biscuits. Grab the serum. Should probably use the serum. But still. E. How did the RimWorld modding go yesterday? Went well, I've uh, remodded things so I can actually we can do more RimWorld tonight if I if we want want to wanted to, uh, so we might. Oh boy! Okay, well. At least we got rid of Mungus. There we go. And we're good. Yeah, whenever, whenever I get kind of tired today, that'll be RimWorld time. Unless unless I, like, keep getting hooked on roguelikes. But eh, maybe spinning the roguelike roulette two times today is kind of good enough. Then we can do some RimWorld. And then I can do some games with Shell. Because she's... She's been a little miffed that uh, since we got back from uh, Disney, we actually haven't played anything together, which is true. The main problem is just, like, the one game that I was excited for to play with her was not actually that great. Like, I was kind of excited for um, Rune Factory 4, 
But it was just so much dialogue, and it was so slow. Like, it it embodies everything I want out of a game, and also embodies everything I hate about um, uh, JRPG game design, and it made me uh, kind of frustrated. Because I was just like, oh man, you know, I can't wait to play this farming RPG where everything like has like a EXP meter and blah blah blah. And the, uh, the short version of it is, um, you barely even get to play the game for the first, like, two hours, and it's mostly just characters talking at you. And, oh, god, I have, like, no pa passion for that. I used to. But now I did, nowadays, I'm just kind of like, man, I almost kind of wish that was just a cutscene. Shield blocks projectiles most of the time. Yeah. Dragon dialogue kills games for me. I'm so impatient. It's not even an impatience thing, it's a... Brevity is the soul of wit, and I feel like a lot of games kind of miss that point. Um, that, like, how, do, how would I even describe it? Uh, yeah, we want, we want curses. Oh, removes a curse. Deal 75 damage. I'll take that. Temporarily increases crit chance. Load these up. I don't know how long they're going to last, but if we're going to be fighting a boss here, we'll go from there. Yeah, Rune Factory is always like that. That's a shame, too, because it could be really... It could be really neat. But I found myself just kind of bored. Um, you know, it's like, talk, 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 talk. Okay, here's a bit of tutorialization. Okay, back to talk, 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 talk. And, like... I don't know. I, I guess... I guess I just get really frustrated when you have, like, really long, drawn-out uh, dialogue that serves next to no, like, immediate purpose. Uh, so specifically, I think they were trying to do character development with the dragon being like, uh, you know, no one must know that I talk to people casually here and there. And it's like, what? That's... Maybe... Maybe that's it. Uh... I can't handle... Uh, I can't handle a whole lot of anime tropes anymore. I think... I think I used to have... I can barely focus on this fight. Um... I, I ha used to have a lot more patience for that sort of thing but then I no oh boy well uh but then I just started playing JRPGs mildly for a living and I was just like eh. yeah so they just fly straight at me no duplications sad all right whatever let's go up Let's go shopping? I think I bought all the food, but it could be wrong. That's at least a decent amount of HP back. I'll have to be more careful on the future floors, but yeah, well. Uh, let's see. Is this the way down? I guess it is. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain has an hour... Irish long prologue with a few 30 seconds, one minute playable portions, and a grand slog of cutscenes. I. Ooh. Whoa. Hey. Uh, hey, Price and Associated Raiders. How you guys doing? Uh, how was Graveyard Keeper? Did. I assume Price got super addicted to it? I tuned in for like a little bit, but then I was off because. I don't know. Post vacations, my backlog's always like super freaking minimal, so I. I've been, like, working my butt off a little bit. Ha! <laughs> um. Trying to, uh... Trying to get everything back in, like, working order. He loves the game. Yeah. Like, Graveyard Keeper was one, one of those games that I absolutely adored. But, boy, howdy. They did... They did not balance out that grind. But then again, everything from that developer specifically is just like, hmm, grinding is fun. And maybe, maybe that's the reason why it's a cursed word for me this year. Because last year I just played, oh god, what was it? I think I played 50 hours of gra Graveyard Keeper in like a week before flying out here. Um, 
Because I'd, I'd flown out to deal more bomb damage. I don't really care about that. Let's do throw speed. Let's see. There's more jumping into it because it's been a long time. Going to do Saren Fate, but I found it difficult to understand. I had the same problem. I I actually died in Saren Fate. Uh, and it, it before I'd like properly gotten the chance to explore. And so I had no idea where my own house was. And so I was just stuck in some old man's basement with no clue of how to get back to my house or to do anything because there's no tutorialization in that game. And uh, yeah, I'll probably play it again when it comes out on early access, but like the state it was in was super freaking rough. Like I, I wanted to like it because like magic, monster collection, Stardew Valley, like all of these things sound great. Execution counts for a lot though. Uh, for people that don't know, there's a game called Saren Fate that had, like, it's like an open alpha? Uh, let's see. Nah. I'm gonna save this for later. Better to duplicate what I can actually, uh, what I can actually use. But it's like Stardew Valley crossed with some, uh, Pokemon and a couple other things. Like, it's the new Cryvita one. Yeah, exactly. Reduces throw damage, increases swing damage. Nope, bye. Uh, if we find Black Cat, cool, but that's about it. Um, but it's like, it's got a lot of promise. I like the idea of it, but the actual execution was just like, what am I doing? Where do I go? How do I do any of this? Like, rarely do I play a game where I'm like, yeah, this needed a longer tutorial. This was like, boy howdy, I needed some tutorial or something. Or just, like, really slow mechanic gating that kind of is the equivalent of a tutorial where it's just like, you're stuck on your farm for the first three days because reasons. And then, then like, the forest opens up. Yeah, straight up lock me in there and just give me, like, the basic tools I need to figure it out on my own. There's a bunch of ways that they could have done it and instead they're just like, here you go, have fun. And it's like, oh, shoot. How do I even do that? Okay, let's... do secrets. I know there's gold there, but I'll come back for it in a bit. Because I needed a key to get into that one. Yeah, force you to farm before you can get a pet, etc. Yeah, especially because I don't even know if I could use my pet. I finally was able to make, like, a monster pen in that game, and then it was just kind of like, what do you do with it? And there was no clear answers. Oh. That's how this works. Well, I still have no key, which is a bit of an issue. Okay. So that means I have to go back and double check some of these walls. I was assuming the secret, the potion of true sight would just show it to me, but no, I have to get close. Nope. I almost would have preferred it if the game had been uh, no exploration, minimal anything, and just been like, go bananas on the far- ooh. Go bananas on the uh, farm for for the alpha, and then eventually be like, here's more things. I I guess I had the same problem with, uh, there was another open- eh. There was another Stardew Valley- oh boy! Uh, there's another Stardew Valley-style game that I played recently-ish. Uh, made by X... Uh, what is it? Kinseed? Kinseed. Uh, Kinseed was a really neat-looking game. I I loved the idea of it, but the, uh... The place... Uh, the place that... Place? When I first started playing the game, it was very much just kind of like a... Okay, here's a couple of, like, basic tasks... And here's a bunch of just empty nonsense, and there's nothing here to do. And that always hurts hurts the game a little bit, in my opinion, where the world is emptier than the content provided. Because um, if I wanted that, I'd play an Ubisoft game. I think even then, Ubisoft's gotten better, but I, like, I never really, I never really touched. Yeah, Kinseed was impossible to learn. I'll be back to Kinseed, I think, when it comes out fully, just because, like, the developers are lovely people. But... Okay, still have the true sight. Here we go. Hey, and we get another true sight potion. Andy. 
Can I sell stuff to her? Okay. So, that actually, this works out really well for me. Oh, I don't know. U Ubisoft games probably don't deserve that level of shade. They've actually been considerably better over the past couple of years. Let's do Potion of Plenty. Because I think that'll get me a key. Yeah. Um, I can remember Far Cry 5 actually being really fun. I played Far Cry 3 originally at the start of my channel. Um... Uh, let's see. Oh, have a good one, uh, Price, and you shall lurk. I, you should, you should come hiking with us in. I think it's two weeks if you got the time. Because we want to start hiking, and that'd be exciting. Anyway, uh, I'm just gonna keep rambling about this topic, kind of, sort of, because I'm on it. Um, but yeah, I haven't actually played a whole lot of Ubisoft games lately. Uh, let's see. Can I, can I talk to her? Wait, can I not talk to her again? Oh, shit. That's. I think that's a bug. That's got to be a bug. I was, I was gonna sell the sword thing. To, well, dang. Okay, I guess we melee now. Buy one more steak and go from there. Hopefully, we'll find her again. Uh, let's see. Do I want to go buy that mask? Actually, I might as well because I can resell it back to her at a later date. Just because. Okay. Um. But yeah, so I I played Far Cry Three when it when it. Not when it first came out. I think it had been out for a while, but I was, like, going to record it, uh... Secret room in her room? No. She is the secret room. The... The secret passage just leads back here. How long does this potion last? A while, apparently. Also, thank you, Calzone Twitch, for the sub. And welcome. Uh, let's see. We're playing Undermine. Oh, did I forget that one? I might have actually forgotten that. Whoops. No. Mine. Um... Uh, I might have forgotten that one statue earlier that I was like, eh, I see the statue. I actually have no idea if I did or didn't. Um. Oh, your account got hacked, so you had to make a new one to follow again. Well, thank you. Uh, let's see, would I recognize the name or not? Just so I can remember-ish. Okay. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Oh, and I totally missed this one. 